Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We filled up the team. We sold this break out. We filled up the team random for Pick Your Team 6. Brand new Legacy Football just dropped this week. Big thanks to everyone right here for getting your team straight up. Appreciate that. Then we did the team random for, for these 16 teams right here. And so big thank you to these folks for giving that one a shot. And let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list three and a one four times. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. Bulldog fan down to Charles. After four, we're in four down territory. All right, Bulldog fan, you have the Ravens. You have the Purple Birds in Legacy. I think Marquise Brown hunting. Eagles for Logan. Andrew with the Bears. Bear down. Alex Carmichael with the Go Pack Go. And we'll put those little symbols next to your name so you know that this came from a team random. Detroit Lions for Ryan Redman. Trevor T. with the Colts. Cosmo with the Bengals. Uh, Logan has the Eagles for trade. I, for those of you in the random team, or the randomizer right here, yes, you can trade if you want to. Ryan Redman with the Titans. Sam with the Vikings. Tyler with the Panthers and Rams. Mark Livingston with the Dolphins. Cosmo, you got the Jets and Falcons. And Grego with the Bucks. And Charles with the Chargers. All right, so there's your final team list. Thanks, everybody. If you remember from the previous break, Remember from the previous break, we marked this uh, case R for the right side. That'll be the right side right there. Well, we got trade offers out there. Chargers for Green Bay, Eagles. Bucks up for trade, maybe Chargers Bucks. I'll give it a couple moments. I think I've got everything squared right here, way here. Looks like no trades. TWC trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip.
right, there is a checklist. In fact, I need to pull up that checklist because I'm going to go by that checklist. All right, here's the checklist in the chat as well. We're going to go by that groupbreakchecklist.com checklist for the hits. All right. I got post-it notes and a pen for all the hits. Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's something, a site that everyone should bookmark, groupbreakchecklist.com. They do God's work, and they take the, the checklist with the college teams, and then they associate them with their pro teams, and that helps out folks like us. So give them, give them the clicks, groupbreakchecklist.com. Got NFL Network on. What are we watching here? I, I love these old shows that they do. America's Game. About the, we're talking about the 1975 Steelers. So that's the sound in the background. Space for one more break, enough trash space. A little lozenge in my mouth. Sorry, if I'm, that's why I'm talking like I have marbles in my mouth, just a lozenge. I thought, I thought they might show the part where the ball hit the ground, the Steelers. Then I realized that was in the early 70s, not 1975. The ball had hit the ground three years previously from this documentary. There's just a car parked out there. There he is, Franco Harris. That's the guy that dropped the picked the ball up off the ground that Raiders game. I remember it like it was yesterday. At a one sixty five. So we'll uh top load sleeve and top load those later. Oh, by the way, so this goes to its respective team. Right? This this will be randomized. All the base rookie cards will be randomized to one person in the break. So one person will get this whole lot. And then veteran commons, as usual, in a common-heavy product like this, will not ship. But inserts, vets, will ship, of course, and retired players. The chromes will ship. So you'll be getting a lot of stuff. Ideally. <laughs> <laughs> and wow 
That looks nice. Look at that bowl patch right there. The cracked ice pattern. That's Dylan Mitchell from Oregon. That's out of 10. I think in all these cases, this might be the lowest numbered RPA we've seen. Dylan, where did you go? He went to the Vikings. Sam S. was just saying, eh, Vikings look okay. I mean, they look a little bit better now with that 2 out of 10. Yeah, how do the Vikings look now, Sam? Sam S. That goes to Sam Sturgeon. Nice one, man. Got randomized the Vikings in the team random. <laughs> Logan's got an Eagles for Vikings trade for you now. Michael Bennett to 100. We've got Adam Humphreys. Oh, he's a Titan now? There's Emmett Smith. For every year of safe driving. And there's Jeffrey Simmons from Mississippi State, a Mississippi State Bulldog. Simmons goes to the Titans. That is for Ryan Redman. With Tennessee. Tighten up. Yeah, I will be doing a recap video at the end of this. What, were you planning on ditching me, Sam? I'm going to be here alone doing this hour-long break? No, we'll do a recap. I think I did a recap previously. I think I forgot on a couple breaks. Sorry. One break we didn't because that was yesterday. Yesterday we didn't because Nick helped me with a break, and that, that only was like 35, 40 minutes. I was like, that's short enough. People can fast forward through that. Yeah, so who are you looking for? Irv Smith? All right. Has there been any major major NFL news, ladies and gentlemen? I feel like there hasn't really been anything going on. There hasn't been, like, any, no, like, major disastrous injury in rookie camp. And there's Noah Font, jersey and autograph. Is he a Bronco? He is. He's a Denver Bronco. From a, he turned into a Hawkeye. Is that a bird? I guess a bird. He turned into a bird. From a bird to a horse. That's for Denver. A little Oppo Joe Mojo for Scott Freeman. Six, 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 seven. And people could block 
I like that George Kittle's high leg kick here. That's right, Kevin. We've got a little flawless in the store. Flawless football and baseball. Now, we're, we're still pretty far away from, doing, from finishing this break, but if we fill that one of those flawlesses up by the end of the night, I'm down to do it. Those are so, so fast that and we can do them pretty easily. There's Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver went to the Bills. That's right. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! That goes to Carlos. All right. NFL news while I'm opening these packs. Gerald McCoy to meet with the Ravens on Tuesday. Chargers news. Defensive end Joey Bosa says that he is as strong, fast, and as strong as ever. All right. Jaguars Leonard Fournette saying, hey, this is a new year. Let me turn the chat. He's trying to get out of Tom Coughlin's uh, doghouse. Gerald McCoy meeting with the Ravens on Tuesday. Um, oh, Jets need a GM, right? Remember that they need a GM. Pac-Man Jones retired. Lamar Jackson critical of his own throwing. He gets it. He's been working on it. He gets it. Falcons, Devonta Freeman, healthy and having fun. Good. Um, Golden Tate saying uh, Tate on Manning to Jones is like Favre to Rodgers. So Eli Manning to Daniel Jones is like Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers. Interesting. Is that two, two Super Bowls for Daniel Jones and a Hall of Fame career? Maybe no, no Eagles yet. Logan. Frankie, what's going on? Golden State is going to beat Toronto in five. Hashtag NBA Finals. <laughs> Whoa, what a hot take. What a hot take, Frankie. That's not very hot. I think everyone know everyone assumes that, right? Golden State's probably gonna beat Toronto in four. What's up, Braden? There's Tremaine Edmonds for the Bills. Buffalo, another one for Carlos. Yeah, I, th I think Golden State. Oh, well, they got all that rest. You know, they'll eventually get Durant back at some point. Of the series. 
They could still win without him. Their margin, Golden State's margin of error is a little bit smaller, but without Durant. But they still could play, still can have an off game and still beat some of the best teams who are having their best game. That's how good they are. That's why I wanted that Toronto series to go to uh, the Bucks Toronto series to go to seven. It'll be a foregone conclusion that the Warriors will win it. Now I think on a from a wagering perspective, whoa, let's talk about this first. One of one, Dexter Williams and Miles Sanders. Woo! Where's Club One of One? Wow. Wow. So Dexter Williams, I think, is a cowboy, right? Dexter Williams? No, sorry, Packers. Is Miles Sanders the cowboy? Or is he an eagle? Miles Sanders is an eagle, that's right. So one happy person, one sad person at the end of the break. One of one dual autograph. Futures Inc. Some decent autographs for both of them too. Good looking autographs. Nice. You got a chance, Logan. There's Marshawn Lynch, 25. So, uh, who has the Packers? So the other person will be Alex Carmichael. Weren't you trying to trade Eagles for Packers? Oh, that'd be funny if it turns out that way. Right, Cousins will probably be available soon too. I was gonna say, from a wagering perspective, going back to the NBA Finals really quick. Oh, you wanted the Bucks, Logan. Um, well, I think uh, I think on a per game basis, I think it'd be pretty interesting to see um, what each game's line is. There may be some value on the Raptors taking some points on the Raptors. Maybe even money line too, if you're feeling spicy. I figure they got to win a game. You would think in Toronto, maybe. With Durant, I mean, that's got to be a sweep, right? But but uh, without Durant, or a hobbled Durant, five games. Just ha it just has that inevitability that it did when the Patriots went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right. There, there it is. There is the time he dropped, put the ball on the ground. Almost flew right by Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley, Bengals. That'll go to Cosmo, who got the Bengals in the team random. Since the moment he donned the black and gold. 
Yeah, if Golden State's a favorite, it'll never be more than three and a half to four. I think they're only a minus one favorite. I looked right after the game, they're only minus one. Which is actually pretty good. Andre Reed. No, game one is in Toronto, isn't it? The Raptors have the better record, right? Yeah, so they're so they're a road favorite, minus one. Well, the the NBA finals are coming. Breck is like, who cares about basketball? It's baseball season. Basketball's not done yet. There's Charlie Joyner. We still have the we we'll still have the still have to fi figure out who's gonna be the champion of the entire basketball season. Still some games left. Still some games to bet on, Rex. Come on. It's mostly why I don't want to go away yet. So some DraftKings lineups to make up. All right, next box. Right. I got I got to get that third Tesla. <laughs> I got to make up for my baseball losses this month. The baseball numbers are not going to look good, folks. Unless I rock this weekend. I basically have to rock the rest of the month, the next week and a half or so. The next week, I think, only over a week, right? Next week, to even break even on the month. It's been a bad month. I should make a Tesla racing league. And call it TRL and then get busted by Carson. Does he own the rights to TRL? No, I, I didn't realize that Carson Daly had owned the rights to TRL. I don't get sued by Carson Daly. There's Hakeem Butler, Jersey and Auto. I've not tried a NASCAR teaser card. How does that work? I, I, I bet I bet winners, I'll, I'll bet straight up. I always forget, though, because the book that I use will end up... Uh, will end up taking the line taking down the line once after like the final qualifying day which I think is Friday so I always, I always rem I always go on go online like tonight Saturday night and I'll be like oh yeah there's NASCAR tomorrow and then I'll be like I'll be like oh I I want to like who should I bet on and then I realize I realize oh that's right they took down the lines t like a day or two ago so it's kind of annoying All right, that's for Rick Barker and the Cardinals. That's where Hakeem Butler goes. It was very hard to throw the ball accurately. It was very hard to hold on to the ball. Your hands were numb. There's Sean Gary. Being dropped, being fumbled, being intercepted. 
David Montgomery to 100. Mac Wilson, return of the Mac. Mac Wilson is a Brown. That goes to Glenn Campbell in the dog pound. Just hit Kevin Harvick a lot? Yeah, he's pretty good. Martin Truex Jr. always a good pick. Isn't his like brother in in the in there too? I think he's he started to race on the monster circuit. One of my best NASCAR wins, I was thinking about NASCAR, one of my best, best NASCAR wins was not this Daytona, but the Daytona before that. Or I think Austin Dillon had one. And um, it was, it fell on the same weekend as the Topps Industry Conference in Arizona. This, the, this recent one, we, Team Jaspi, we flew out there. But the year before that, we drove. So we actually even, we even like rented a car too. I think we rented like a electric car or something like that. And we were trying like a, we were trying Turo, I think, which is like a car borrowing thing. Anyway, we've got like a hybrid, and a Lexus hybrid and we were cruising down there. We had like XM radio and we we're listening to NASCAR on the radio. Um, and which is actually kind of exciting because the radio guys for NASCAR get so hyped up. They're really good. And because on TV, you know, you can visually see it going around, but but you just have to use your imagination so everything just sounds worse than it really is or, or, or just on the edge of your seat. And I had put, I don't know, I think Austin Dillon had won that year. I was, I, he was like 60 to 1 or something like that. You know, and I, and I, I put a little bit on that among other players and, or other drivers and just for the hell of it. And, there, and it was like classic where it was like Austin Dillon was like in 13th place or something like that. One caution flag and a big wreck at, at the end. And then all of a sudden, Austin Dillon, checkered flag. And that that funded uh that funded the, the gambling at the at the talking stick. In Scottsdale, where the conference was. So thanks, Austin Dillon, if you're listening. Thanks for winning me money. But it's just like, but that's also why I hate betting on NASCAR. Because cause you're like, because that's what it takes. It'll take like a wreck and then some a driver that's 60 to 1 will win. So there's almost like, it's tough to, unless you're just... And there's ways to handicap and do all that stuff. So unless you're like a NASCAR savant, like you may as well just sprinkle a handful of dollars here and there, like coffee money on like 
some random driver. That's like, you know, do some research, but some, you know, some take, take a few long shots, put coffee money on it, you know, and then, and then, and then enjoy the race because one random wreck, because with the, yeah, it's extremely hard betting it. I think the, the guy, even the, even the guys in Vegas who are like, who are like building models, you know, computer models of just to predict those races. And they're taking all that information and it's, it's, it's an interesting field, but I got to think, I got to say it's, it's, it's really hard because of the, the stage racing, when they started adding stages in NASCAR too, I think that's also what um, you get more aggressive driving at, you know, at least three or four points of the, of the race. Because you want to get stage points too. So that creates a lot more aggressive driving and that's a cool patch. Some thread. Part of the logo. So that creates more wrecks. Because drivers are, are a lot more aggressive. So that creates more variance. Hawkins went to the Lions. There you go. Ryan Redman with the Lions. All right, halfway through the break. Ooh. Good luck, everybody. Any Steelers fans here? I know it's late on the it's on Saturday night, late on the East Coast, but any Steelers fans here? You know that that logo, that cartoon logo. We're watching uh, America's Game or whatever this series is on NFL Network, and they're talking about the 1975 Steelers. They used to have a little guy in a hard hat. Who's that little guy? Does he exist in real life? As a as a real mascot? I think that's yeah, that's Steely McBeam. And he carries like is he carrying like a big eye beam around? Okay, this so so never mind, they're all over it. <laughs> oh, never mind then. You guys are on it. I just want that. Uh, <laughs> I just want to see that, that that guy used more often, especially the old cartoon version. Fort Wayne, Indiana, is the closest big city to me, says Rex, and they're starting a hockey team called the Spacemen. What? Well, does, does Fort Wayne have uh, have some uh, NASA history there? Space aeronautic history? Yeah, I feel like NASCAR is kind of like 
kind of like golf, maybe with a little even more variance in golf. But I feel like it's kind of like golf where you have to, you know, you have to set whatever whatever your budget is for that particular day. You gotta you gotta, you know, pick a few outright winners and sprinkle some money there. Sprinkle some money on top ten picks, top five picks, top three, you know, picks, and you kind of have to move it around. It's almost like horse racing too, right? Where you got to play around with the, you know, maybe the win play shows and then box up some exactas and trifectas and just see what happens. There's Antoine uh, Wesley. As you wish. Antoine Wesley goes to the Ravens. That's for Bulldog fan. Now, why am I writing Buffalo on this? No, it's not Buffalo. It's... It's Baltimore. Hence the name Fort Wayne. Hey, isn't Fort Wayne where... Uh, I think that's where Sweetwater Music is, isn't it? Rex? The big uh, music, music gear retailer. I don't know if they. I think I don't know if they have an actual store or anything like that, like Guitar Center. But I think it's like a, it's mostly online. I think they have a big building there. It's AJ Brown. It's a Titan. Oh, almost flew by Gardner Minshew to 50. Yeah, Jaguar, Atriot? Jaguar. Out of 50 for Gardner. Oh, they do have stores? Like, you, like public can just walk in? Oh. Um, that would be for Jeffrey Tote and the Jaguars. Yes, I always liked Sweetwater because it was... It's like, it's like alternative... It's an alternative to Guitar Center and like... Um, musician's Friend and stuff like that. Which I think is owned by Guitar Center now, Musicians Friend. Oh right, that's right, Barry. He is the he's the mustache. He's got a pretty pretty epic seventies style mustache or like motorcycle cop mustache. I'm watching uh I'm watching uh, America's Game featuring the 1975 Steelers. And there's a lot of strong mid-70s mustaches there, too. Wait, this Sweetwater has a restaurant and a game room in with This price is actually pretty cool. Every, every once in a, every once in a while oh they got appearances there too slash is gonna be there every once in a while I'll get a call from Fort Wayne Indiana and it's the uh, it's the sweetwater rep sweetwater sales guy that's been assigned to my account will uh, well I guess we'll just cold call me every once in a while this is like once every couple months be like hey Joe what's going on? Wondering how you're doing with that uh, that last thing that you bought. And he'll say the thing. It's on his computer. And he'll be like, yeah. 
make sure that's working out for you. If we can do anything for you at Sweetwater, we'll love to hook you up with something. Got a lot of deals going on. Maybe a new guitar, a new amp. But like, yeah. But I don't talk to him. I just let it go to voicemail. Because because it wouldn't take too much time on the phone before I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want, yeah, that sounds good. I, I could use one of those. There's old Eric Metcalf out of 50 for the Browns. Yeah, I want that too. Wait, are they related at all? Barry's like wrong Metcalf. Let's see DK Metcalf. I mean, how many how many Metcalfs are playing football? It's a 25. There's Andy Isabella. Gold autograph. Is he... Cardinal? Cardinal. There you go. Another Cardinal for Rick Barker. What's next? What's next on NFL Network's America's Game? This this stuff this stuff on NFL Network and like football life, if there's a marathon on, it's game over. And you got Christian Kirk. That's ten. Another one for Rick. Next one. Almost there, folks. We've got this, that, that to go. Oh, narrated by Lawrence Fishburne, too. Oh, the Raiders. Uh oh, Logan, you're getting tired? Get a coffee. Looking like a swing and a miss for the chart. We're not even close to being done yet, Charles. We got two, four, six, eight hits to go, eight autographs to go. We got another. Got another 30 minutes to go in this break. Although maybe Logan, you should go to bed. We, we've seen we've seen good things happen when people go to bed before, possibly. You know they're like, all right, I'm going to bed. Get some big hits for me in the morning. You know, 
We got a big randomizer at the end of this break. It would suck to stay up and then be like not win the randomizer, right? Got a 50-50 chance. There's Rashawn Gary. He is a Green Bay Packer. That'll be for Alex Carmichael. And John Taylor really wanted to show himself. There he is. John Taylor for the Niners. That'll be for Jeremy Mennel. I don't know, those, those, those big randomizers at the end always make me nervous. I was like, if I'm in your shoes, how, how would I want that to go? Like, you got to have, if you win, that's good, because you won. And then, you know, but maybe you get too hyped, and then you're like, ah, I can't fall asleep. Can't wait for that hit to come in the mail. But if you lose, and then you go to bed angry, that's not good. At least in the morning, if you win... You know, you'll be fired up for the rest of the day. It's a good start to the day. If you lose, you know, at least you got a good night of rest and, and, and you have the entire day to process that and then, you know, and then move on. I don't know. It's tough either way, I guess. You got to be like, you know, it's just like in, uh, just like in gambling, just like in sports. Sometimes, a lot of times, you just have to have short memories. Got to be fearless. You know, you just got to keep throwing. Keep shooting, keep throwing. Keep running. Keep going over the middle. All right, I got a question for you for the 30 people that are watching right now. Every year this happens, right? Every year there's a non-playoff team the season before that becomes a playoff team. Who is that team? Let's see, NFC West, Niners, Cardinals. Do they have a shot? Maybe if uh, Seahawks regress. Perhaps the Niners can slip in there. Healthy Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe. Um, there were no wild cards out of the NFC South. Falcons, Panthers, Buccaneers. Saints ran away with that division. Falcons, maybe? I feel like that could be like... Uh, I feel like with the Falcons, maybe it could be like... An ex sort of an extended Super Bowl hangover kind of kind of effect but now they're kind of retooling again maybe maybe they've got the experience to, to kind of jump back in there NFC North yeah Packers has got to be a one right healthy Aaron Rodgers you know he's got to, he, he needs some weapons right what do they got they need some weapons but I think maybe that coaching change will Will kind of help. Fresh voice, a fresh voice in the uh, in the locker room. Fresh perspective could help. Yep, Vikings are right up there too. That NFC North is kind of a kind of will be a dogfight. Bears, Vikings, Packers. You know, everyone's gonna see Mitchell Trubisky coming now, and maybe try to scheme around that defense. So I can see the Vikings maybe making a play. Packers is Aaron Rodgers alone. NFC East is going to be a battle too. All right, it was Cowboys Eagles last year. That might flip again, right? Then it might be Eagles Cowboys this time. 
I don't know. We'll see. Carson Wentz could be could be pretty big. In the AFC West, Broncos maybe. Joe Flacco, I think, is is a very interesting addition. If they can kind of get like a Peyton Manning sort of vibe out of him. There's Anthony Johnson, University of Buffalo. Didn't have to go far because he got drafted by the Buffalo Bills. I think my Raiders are still a couple of years away. So that's for you, Carlos. But I'd like to see the Raiders at least finish 500. They were 4-12 and last year, which was a bummer after the previous year. So I guess the hope is if they go 8-8 eight and eight this season, I'd be pretty, pretty happy with that step forward. But they've got some work to do. So they got to do some work. I don't know. Are the Chargers going to be that good? They won tw Chargers and Chiefs both went 12 and 4. I don't know if that's going to happen again. I don't think a wild card will come out of the AFC West. I guess is what I'm getting to. I think maybe maybe Chiefs win that division. I don't think the Chargers are going to do that again. I don't know, healthy Keenan Allen. Titans? I think Jaguars, I think, could be an interesting... How about... How, what do you think about that? So Jaguars... You know... 2017... You know, we're great. The defense was fantastic. The offense was doing just enough. There's Alex Barnes. But then they 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 fell. They just went completely the opposite way. Then they they were five and eleven. Alex Barnes goes to the Titans. So I think that I think that team is an interesting bounce back camp. Now now that they have a competent quarterback, as well, they got decent enough weapons. I'm losing my mind, Tennessee. That's right. That's for Ryan Redman. I think it'll be like another month or two before we start thinking about <laughs> about win totals and stuff like that. All right, two boxes to go. All right, yeah, Jaguars now with Nick Foles. You know, that, that defense suddenly didn't become crappy, right? They still got key players there on defense. You know, but now that they're not asked to win the game anymore... They just have to be good, not, not like perfect, you know. Like one little error in that defense, you lose the game. Blake Bortles isn't bringing you back in a game, right? So that makes the that makes that defense less. You know, you used to be oh we're Saxonville, right? You know, where the sacks are coming from everywhere. You know, the corners can sack you, the linebackers can rush, the the defensive linemen can get to your quarterback, you know. But you can't be that aggressive when you know that Blake Bortles isn't going to bring you back if you take that gamble. So that kind of neuters that defense. You know, Nick Foles. I don't know who the what the ride receiving situation is there, but I know they added some pieces in the draft. We'll, we'll learn all about this as the summer goes along. So I think they could be like one of the surprise turn it around sort of teams. Because, again, I always feel like there's always one kind of sub-500 team, specifically sub-500. I think there's specifically sub-500 teams. There's always one. It's hard to pick which one, but there's always one that'll, like, that'll get there. You know? Actually, Browns went under 500. That's an obvious kind of a, a trendy pick. Cleveland Browns were 7-8-1. and one. If Baker Mayfield started the first game of the season... They might have gone nine and seven. They might have been a playoff team.
I think Hugh Jackson literally cost him like two or three wins. Just him alone. Uh, you think Rex thinks Raiders will surprise everyone this year with 9-7? and seven. Well, a lot would have to go right. But Raiders have a, a decent... Raiders have a solid offensive line. You know. They got Antonio Brown. So that's a good weapon for Derek Carr. There's Jerry Kramer, old Packer. That'll be for Alex Carmichael. You know, they got they got a couple of decent running backs. If Josh Jacobs from Alabama turns out to turns out to be productive immediately, that'll be a big help. Their defense is a huge issue. Still a lot of holes there on that defense. But they got a couple they got Cleland Farrell and Mo Hurst from last year on that front line. You know, losing Cleo Mack sucked, but that opened up a lot of payroll space, so they got a lot of money to play around with. But a lot has to go right. That defense has to click. You know, the young corners and the new safeties have to have to click right away. I think Derek Carr got a little unlucky with interceptions last year, but if he cleans that up, the offense will be fun to watch, I think, at least. There is Debo Samuel. That is a Niner, I believe. Debo Niners, San Francisco. That'll be for Jeremy Mennel. Hey, Logan, is are you just speculating or hoping, or has there actually been some rumblings about, like serious rumblings about AJ Green to the Packers? That would be. I feel like that would be huge, right? Like, when's the last time Aaron Rodgers has had a really competent, like, top flight, you know, top tier kind of receiver? Started writing Green Bay on there. I was thinking of. Oh, Debo goes to the Niners. Irv Smith Jr. to 50. He has Devontae. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't we all take A.J. Green over Adams, though? No? I don't. I don't know the numbers offhand. Maybe maybe they're a lot closer than I think. But AJ Green has has put up numbers in spite of the person throwing to him. You know what I mean? So if he really ends up in in a place like Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers, oof. I'm thinking maybe Greg Jennings. Yeah, Jordy Nelson did retire. Um, I don't know. Wait, isn't... I thought there was also rumors about Jordy Nelson maybe, maybe just going back to the Packers. All right, last box. We made it, folks. Ooh. I'm glad we got this done, though. There's Miles Gaskin, jersey and autograph. That's for the Dolphins. That'll be for Mark Livingston. Oh, was that a three-hit box? I wasn't keeping track. Sorry.
Frank Dolan on Tennis Channel with our acclaimed broadcast team as we bring you more than 120 hours of live match action, plus nightly encores and interviews. The Frank Dolan on Got cracked ice. Andre Reed. That's the 10. That'll be for Carlos and the Bills. Should be expecting at least one more autograph out of here. It's Darius Slay for the Lions. That'll go to Ryan Redman with Detroit. I think that's our last autograph, unless we have a bonus here, unless we have a hot box here. Might be our last auto of the break. Still have that randomizer, that one of one randomizer to do. <laughs> Nervous. One person happy, one person sad. Is Alex Carmichael here? Is he watching? No, Logan's here. He's got the other team in that randomizer. There it is, Dexter Williams, Miles Sanders. Dexter Williams, a Green Bay Packer, Miles Sanders, a Philadelphia Eagle. And confirmed, Dexter Williams, Packers, just want to reconfirm that. Miles Sanders confirmed, an Eagle. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, you saw that peeking out right there. That's a one of one dual autograph of these youngsters. Future stars, I hope. And that's the only randomizer. Oh, and then we have the base. Got two randomizers to do. And then the base rookie cards. Can't forget about that. All right, so let's go back to the team list here. From Rick down to Patrick K. Let's get him in this list right here. And then right here will be Green Bay and Philadelphia. Right there. Same dice roll. For both lists. One and a three. Four down territory here. Four times. One, two, three, four. All right, so Glenn Campbell, you'll get all the base rookie cards. It's not bad. You'll get a nice little stack of cards after four times. One and a three, four times for these two teams right here. Green Bay and Philadelphia. One. One. All right, random dog. We don't have time for this. It's late. There you go. The random.org just wants to create more suspense. One, two, three. All right, and a one. Fourth and final time. Stays with Philadelphia. Did it say for Philadelphia all four times? I think it did. Wow. After four times, that goes to Logan Callister with the Fly Eagles Fly. Gets the one of one, thanks to Miles Sanders. And we end the break with a train whistle. There you go, Logan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We will see you next time. Bye bye.